My name is Greg Indris. I work as an extension area agronomist and I'd like to give an overview of the three corn trials that were discussed during the Crop Management Field School. And the three trials include a, a inferral application of, of a fertilizer and a growth promoter. Uh, the second one is a, a look at post-emergence control of Canada thistle in corn. And then the third trial is uh, an overview of the work that we've done in a study where we've explored the response of corn to row spacing and starter fertilizer placement. So in trial number one, the inferral trial, um, this one was uh, conducted or is being conducted in order to look at corn response to two basic products. One is a product from Winfield called Ascend. It is a growth promoter and quite heavily marketed. So NDSU needs some data with the product, and so that's why we're conducting the trial. Uh, the Ascend is, is, uh, has been applied alone or in combination with 1034-0 or with 1034-0 uh, plus zinc fertilizer. So again, it's infero applied at, at planting time. The second part of the trial, we are looking at a treatment of potassium. The specific product is a Gavilon product. Uh, uh, potassium thiol sulfate, uh, just to see if there is a response in an environment where we have lower potassium levels in the soil. Moving on to treatment number two, the Canada Thistle Control trial. Um, this trial is conducted to help growers make a decision on what post-emergence herbicide or combinations may be best to at least suppress Canada thistle during the, the corn growing season. So initially a pre-emergence application across the trial was made with Sure Start and Roundup Power Max. And then the, the various treatments were applied when the corn was at the V3 to V4 stage, or 3 to 4 leaf. And the Canada thistle at the time of treatment was at a height of anywhere from 2 to uh, 12 inches in height. And so I'm going to list the, the various herbicides that were used for the, the post-emergence control of the Canada thistle. And they included uh, Roundup Power Max, Wide Match, uh, status at two rates at five and ten ounces of product per acre and then the other the balance of the products all have uh, atrazine as a tank mixed with them and the products include Caprino, uh, Halix GT, Lattice and Armazon. The effectiveness of the herbicides are being evaluated at two, four, eight, twelve weeks after treatment, and then maybe even uh, later on in the season, depending on the, the amount of control that's present um, during the, the early fall. So again, this trial will help give people some, some data to make the best decision which herbicide to effectively control Canada thistle, at least during the, the corn growing season. And then the third trial that I'd like to mention is uh, an ongoing study that we've looked at uh, tillage systems, which included conventional teal, strip teal, and then direct seeded. Um, we're done with that portion of the study, but we're continuing to do work looking at the, the most effective way to apply starter fertilizer, and the fertilizer we're using is 1034-0. And then also, we're looking at row spacing. So I'd like to give you a summary of the, the starter fertilizer placement. After four years of, of work, we found that the, the corn response was greatest with the 2 by 0 band of 1034-0 um, as compared to the untreated check. But the, the yield was similar with the 2 by 0 band as was the, the fall deep band where we used, a, where we applied the 1034-0 at a 4 to 5 inch depth in the fall during the strip till process. So the deep band in the fall have has resulted in a similar yield as compared to the 2 by 0 band at planting time. And both of these treatments have provided a, an increase in yield as compared to an inferral treatment of the 1034-0 at planting. The trial um, with the, the various options and starter fertilizer placement will be continued in 2013. The other part of the, the study that's uh, taking place in 2013 is a comparison of roll spacing, 22 to 30 inch. Uh, currently you have just one site year of data showing a 5% yield advantage with the 22 inch versus the 30 inch rolls. So that concludes uh, the comments I have on, on the three of our corn trials that we're conducting at the Carrington Research Extension Center in 2013.